Thinking Media in association with Boxro. Chris Van Heden. Chris, welcome to the UK for a start. How much heat are you bringing for Conor Ben? I know your nickname is the Heat. Uh-huh. I'm bringing, I'm bringing, I'm bringing all the heat. You know what? I came here not, not for for payday. I, I came here because I have a dream and a vision, and this is the big stage, and and I want to give it my best shot. So I'm, I'm coming with 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 what I got. Like you said there, you know, a lot of the fans online have been saying maybe it's a payday fight for you. Yeah. Does that piss you off in a way as an individual? You know what it does. You know what? No one is giving me. But now, now, all of a sudden, because I, I think it's because of the Zeron and this fight. It was it, it was bad. I was never going to win that fight again. That fight I took on two weeks notice because his his opponent pulled out. I'm a fighter by heart. I'm a fighter. So when I got the phone call, I was like, this is what I do. So yes, let's fight. I don't care who I fight. I want to fight. And I took that fight and and it was it was one round. It looked terrible. And I feel like I'm being judged because of that. No one talks about the fact that it was two weeks notice. So it does it does annoy me a little bit that no one is giving me a shot at all. You know, I beat your homeboy Matthew Atten. He's a warrior. I, I defended my world title three times. I fought. Uh, I beat uh, Kaiser Mabuza, knocked out Ken Hold. I beat Sebastian Lujan. I fought. That was that was a uh, highly ranked. You know, I I beat a gold uh, Commonwealth gold medalist, uh, Bongani Molazi. I've beaten some massive names. And then people talk to me like like like, oh, he's a bum. And it does annoy me a little bit. But fair enough. You know what? I think they look at my inactivity over the last four or five years and then that is probably the worst thing that could have happened to me over the four or five years is my inactivity. But fair enough, um, all, all, all allowed their own opinions. Well, like you said there, I've looked at your record online and you fought a lot of guys who winning records, you know what I mean? So that isn't a record of somebody who's, who's just come up the easy way. Absolutely, you know what, I fought winning guys, I fought undefeated guys, you know. I beat Cecile McCullough, 20 and 0 in Madison Square Garden. I beat your homeboy Matthew Hatton. He's not a he's not a he's not a guy you bring in as an opponent. He's a tough guy, Matthew Hatton. Sebastian Lujan, Kaiser Mabuza, former world champion, not like I've, I've, I've beaten winning guys. You're right. How much notice have you had for this fight? What's that? How much notice have you had? How much time have you prepared? Fair enough. Ten, ten weeks, fair enough, pain camp. Yeah. So you've had full ten weeks. So no you're in the best shape you could possibly I have no excuses, man. I have no excuses. I wish I was I wish I was twenty five. But 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 no excuses. With regards to making weight, and as you get older, it doesn't get easier. Is yeah. that going to play a factor? No, 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 no. I was already 149 today. Like, I'm good with my weight. You obviously saw Conor Ben's fight with Samuel Vargas. He obviously blitzed him out in the round. Are you concerned that he made, you know, are you going to meet fire with fire, is what I'm trying to say? We'll see when that bell ring. You know what? I, when that bell ring, we'll have a game plan. You know, you only have a game plan until you get hit in the face, and then you got to figure stuff out. So, I'm, I'm expecting to have my, my eyes wide open. My my hands, my hands high up and, and be alert the first few rounds, very alert, and uh, try to weather the storm. Last question, because I know you've got to go. How good is Jaron Ennis? He shared the ring with him, he shared the ring with Elwood Spence. How good is he? Because there's a lot of re- noise about him. Yeah, fair enough. You know, I only had one round with, with Jaron. It was so quick. But what I can tell you is that he hits way harder than Elwood Spence. With what I what he hit me with, compared to what Elwood Spence hit me with, two different people. That's one thing I can tell you. Well, that's a big... And he's a big boy. He's a, he's a big 147. Well, Chris, I'm going to let you go because you need to go do your media workout. All the best Saturday night. Thank you so much. Thank you.